Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Dave, and normally this is when you get a taste of what we're getting into on Sunday in the sermon. Well, that's not happening today, in part because I don't have a sermon for Sunday. Instead, we're going to do something else. It's something that we did last year, and that is a covenant renewal service. I think it's a good time to do it. Let's be honest, 2020 has been crazy. And as we look to a new year, and hopefully things being better, we really should make sure God is part of that move forward. Now, tonight is our coven is our watch night service from 11 to ideally 12.01. That's actually, in the Wesleyan tradition, when you would do a covenant renewal. You do it at the end of the year going into the new year. However, I'm realistic that most people probably do not want to be up for a watch night service at 11 p.m. Even some may not want to watch it the next day, although there is a sermon that's part of it. Instead, I want to give you the warning to prepare yourself. If you hear the watch night sermon, you're going to get the reminder to prepare yourself as well. But for everyone else, before we do covenant renewal, we really should be preparing ourselves not just for 2021, which mercifully is tomorrow, but also preparing our hearts and our faith for renewal. So take the time, look back over the year, but not just at the bad things, but also what God has done, the positive things, where God has been at work, what God has done in your life, and how reliant you have been on God, or at least how reliant you should have been on God. That way, come Sunday, you're ready to renew your covenant. You're ready to recognize what is going on in your lives and ready to move forward. Now on Sunday as well, Beyond Covenant Renewal, we will recognize the officers for the 2021 year at both churches. We'll celebrate communion for whoever's there. I'll be in the office afterwards if anyone wants to stop by for communion. But on Sunday, we're renewing our covenant with God. As a reminder, as always, East Salem worships at 845, Otterbein at 1015. We live stream that East Salem worship service. I'm pre-recording this about two weeks early. I can't tell you exactly what the situation looks like right now. But use your best judgment, your grown-ups. If you're unable to worship online, we're there for you in the church. But the online is probably still the preferred method. But hopefully, either digitally or in person, I will see you on Sunday.